A scale ruler is a tool for measuring distances and transferring measurements at a fixed ratio of length. Two common examples are an architect's scale and engineer's scale. Topic: <laughs> Architect's scale. An architect's scale is a specialized ruler designed to facilitate the drafting and measuring of architectural drawings, such as floor plans and orthographic projections. In scientific and engineering terminology, a device to measure linear distance and create proportional linear measurements is called a scale. A device for drawing straight lines is a straight edge or ruler. In common usage both are referred to as a ruler. Because the scale of such drawings are often smaller than life-size, an architect's scale features multiple units of length and proportional length increments. For accuracy and longevity, the material used should be dimensionally stable and durable. Scales were traditionally made of wood, but today they are usually made of rigid plastic or aluminium. Architects' scales may be flat, with four scales, or have a symmetric three-lobed cross-section, with six scales. <laughs> United States and Imperial Units In the United States, and prior to metrification in Britain, Canada and Australia, architects' scales are, were marked as a ratio of x inches to the foot typically written as x equals 1 foot minus 0 inches. For example, 1 inch measured from a drawing with a scale of 1 inch to the foot is equivalent to 1 foot in the real world a scale of 1 12 measured from a drawing with a scale of 2 inches to the foot is equivalent to 6 inches in the real world a scale of 1 to 6. It is not to be confused with a true unitless ratio. A 1 to 5 architectural scale inches to feet would be a 1 to 60 unitless scale inches to inches since there are 60 inches in 5 feet. Typical scales used in the United States are Full scale, with inches divided into sixteenths of an inch The following scales are generally grouped in pairs using the same dual-numbered index line one scale is read from the right, and the other scale is read from the left 3 inches to the foot 3 equals 1 foot minus 0 inches, ratio equivalent 1 to 4, 1 and 1 half inch to the foot 1 and a half equals 1 foot minus 0 inches, 1 to 8 1 inch to the foot 1 equals 1 foot minus 0 inches 1 12 1 half inch to the foot 1 half equals 1 foot minus 0 inches 1 24 3 quarters inch to the foot 3 quarters equals 1 foot minus 0 inches 1 16 3 eighths inch to the foot 3 eighths equals 1 foot minus 0 inches 1 32 1 quarter inch to the foot 1 quarter equals 1 foot minus 0 inches 148 1 eighth inch to the foot 1 eighth equals 1 foot minus 0 inches 1 to 96 3 16 inch to the foot 3 16 equals 1 foot minus 0 inches 1 to 64 3 30 seconds inch to the foot 3 30 seconds equals 1 foot 0 inches 1 to 128 Topic: Metric units. Architect scale rulers used in Britain and other metric countries are marked with ratios without reference to a base unit. Therefore, a drawing will indicate both its scale (ratio) and the unit of measurement being used. In Britain and elsewhere, the standard units used on architectural drawings are the SI units millimeters m and meters m, whereas in France centimeters cm and meters are most often used. In Britain, for flat rulers, the paired scales often found on architects scales are For triangular rulers, the paired scales are Less common scales are 125 1 to 250 133 one third, 2 to 1 in France in engineering departments or architectural offices here are some scales used 
1 to 100, 1 to 300, 1 to 200, 1 to 400, 1 to 250, 1 to 500. Topic: Engineer's scale. An engineer's scale is a tool for measuring distances and transferring measurements at a fixed ratio of length. It is commonly made of plastic or aluminum, and is just over 12 inches long, but with only 12 inches of markings, leaving the ends unmarked so that the first and last measuring ticks do not wear off. It is used in making engineering drawings, commonly called blueprints, blue lines or plans in a specific scale. For example, one tenth size would appear on a drawing to indicate a part larger than the drawing on the paper itself. It is not to be used to measure machine parts to see if they meet specifications. In the United States this scale is divided into decimalized fractions of an inch, but has a cross-section like an equilateral triangle, which enables the scale to have six edges indexed for measurement. One edge is divided into tenths of an inch, and the subsequent ones are directly marked for twentieths, thirtieths, fortieths, fiftieths, and finally sixtieths of an inch. Referred to as 110, 120, 130, 140, 150 or 1 to 60 scale. Typically in civil engineering applications, 110 equals 10 is used exclusively for detail drawings. 120 and 140 scales are used for working plans. 1 to 60 is normally used only to show large areas of a project. The engineer's scale came into existence when machining parts required a greater precision than the usual, binary fractionalization of the inch, as in the architect's scale, for houses and furniture. They were used, for example, in laying out printed circuit boards with the spacing of leads from integrated circuits as one-tenth of an inch. See also Technical drawing tools <laughs>